Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wispin here and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Pixelmon 5.0.0 for Minecraft 1.10.2. So it's pretty straightforward here. This tutorial is actually only going to work for Windows. If you have Mac or Linux, make sure to check out my channel. There should be a guide on how to get it installed for that and I will probably be putting another one up tomorrow or sometime pretty soon here. Uh, but yeah guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into this. So what you're going to want to do is go to pixelmonmod.com and then go over to download. So in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to install Pixelmon, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install Optifine for this version so that your game runs a little bit smoother because a lot of people have some issues running Pixelmon on their computers. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, um, go to pixelmonmod.com, and then go over to the downloads page and download this first one right here, which is Pixelmon Launcher, Pixelmon Launcher for Windows Beta, and click download. It'll bring you to this page and download again right there. And yeah, so you just wait for this to install. It shouldn't take too long. And yeah, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually bring this over here. It's a little bit easier to do from the desktop. So if I drag that here, there we go, and open that up, and might as well just bring that to my desktop. So once you guys have this Pixelmon Launcher Beta EXE, go ahead and just double click on it, or you can right click and run it as administrator. It should pull this up right here. Pick where you want it to install, that's fine, whatever. Um, and then it should just say, are you sure you want to allow your PC to make these changes, whatever. Um, yeah, there we go, and boom. So this is what should pop up once you've done that. And then what this is right here, sorry for the really loud music again, it's the launcher, I can't really do anything about it, so I'm gonna talk over it the best I can. Um, actually, I can go ahead and just slide that down. All right, so what I'm gonna do is log in with your Minecraft information. Oh my goodness, why is that so loud? One second, let me do this real quick. So just log in, Minecraft email, Minecraft password. That's all you gotta use right there. And mute that sound because that is really annoying. All right, so now that you're logged in, make sure you're using the correct email and password for your Minecraft account. Go ahead and click new, create new pro, pro Oh my goodness, I can't talk. I do that every video. <laughs> every video um you create a new profile and then you can name it whatever you want i'm just going to leave it new profile actually i'm going to name it rename it 5.0.0 since that's what we're going to be installing and then when you select your pixelmon version you can actually choose any version that's ever released for pixelmon back to 1.7 but i'm going to go into beta because that's what the server's on my server is on that and that's what we want to install today so pixelmon 5.0.0 beta 5 is the one you're going to want to get and then forge you'll just go ahead and click that and then save and then it'll say download profile. If this doesn't pop up to you, for you, most people it does pop up for. But if it doesn't, then you can go ahead and click right here. There's this little button and just click download. So this will take a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and skip over it. But I will be back once it has finished installing. All right, guys. So there we go. It finished installing. It took about three minutes for me. It might be a little bit longer for you depending on your internet speed. But it should finish pretty quickly there. And I'm going to go ahead and close this because I do want to show you something else before I launch this up. Now, your computer, in order to run Pixmon, is going to need 2 gigabytes of RAM at a minimum. So, as you can see here, I actually have 8 gigabytes available for me to do that, but I don't want to do that because my computer runs other things in the background that need memory. So, I'm going to go ahead and set it to about 3... Uh, 1 gigabyte is 1,000... 24 megabytes so right here so i'm gonna set it about 3300 whatever somewhere around there is probably good enough to run it smoothly but you do need at least two that you can allocate to pixelmon in order for it to run so if you have an older computer or a laptop or something that isn't as powerful you might not be able to run pixelmon at all and that's just there's nothing you can really do about it except for upgrade your computer because it does need that much memory in order to even run so i'm gonna go ahead and close that but if you guys want to check how much RAM your computer actually has, you can go down here to this Windows button and actually just type in RAM, literally just type in the word RAM, R-A-M, and it should pop up here. And as you can see, I have eight gigabytes installed on my computer. So that's how you see. If you have four gigabytes, you might be able to run it, but you're getting kind of a little bit close there. So you probably should have at least eight in order to run Pixelmon. And there's not really much I can tell you. There's no way around it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and... Go ahead and just click this little play button right here and it should start running minecraft um there we go it loads up this little thing that i don't even really understand what it is i guess it's just the launcher thing something i don't know anyway so once that gets done it, it will pull up a window minecraft window right there as you can see and this part takes a couple minutes now if you didn't have enough ram on your computer a lot of times this will crash so it just it your computer doesn't have enough power to 
run it and it crashes and there's really nothing you can do about that except for upgrade your computer now if you're in i want to make this clear also if you're on this launcher and you have this installed to this right here so i still have minecraft in the background loading but um right here click on settings and if it says something like you're running a 60 or a 32-bit java on a 64-bit system operating system what you're going to want to do is come down here and check your operating system so oh my goodness why is the sound back what is that oh is that minecraft one second so minecraft just finished loading so it really didn't take all that long um let me turn off the sound real quick where oh my goodness what am i doing music and sounds there we go okay so um what you're gonna want to do is come down here and you can actually type in the same thing ram it pulls it up same page um so this is the page we were on it earlier and you can see system type 64-bit operating system now if you have a 32-bit operating system that means you're not going to be able to put your ram over a certain limit and basically what that means is you're going to have a little bit of trouble running pixelmon so just a warning there i know a lot of people in my last tutorial were having issues with it crashing that is most likely what is happening it probably isn't anything to do with how you installed or anything like that it's probably entirely to do with your pc just not being powerful enough to run pixelmon which is unfortunate but there's nothing you can really do about it except for upgrade your computer as i said so as you can see guys it's minecraft 1.10.2 right here running working perfectly fine um go ahead and put in my server if you guys want to join my server which i highly recommend it is opening friday so probably if you're watching this video a few days after it's released it will be open by then right here uh is the server it's i'm still working on it but i'll jump in it just to show you guys a little bit um but yeah it is so it is on the latest version uh yeah it's pretty cool um put a lot of work into it so whoa it's very dark let me turn up the brightness but yeah this is the server spawn spawn in that building but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and in this video here make sure if you guys have any questions make sure to leave them down in the comments and remember if you guys oh all right i should probably optifine okay um let me go ahead and get that set up and i will show you guys how to install optifine right now before i do the outro <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the website where you can actually get Optifine. It is called Optifine HD now. So it used to just be Optifine, but they updated it. No, it's Optifine HD. And what you're going to want to do is go to this website right here, minecraft6.com slash Optifine uh, dash HD dash mod. And, and yeah, so that should be pretty easy to find. And then you just scroll all the way down as far as you can go. And you can see right here, Minecraft right here this first one minecraft 1.10.2 and go ahead and click that and then click download and it should begin your download here in a second there we go and keep and that is basically it that's how you download it and then drag that here and now what you're going to want to do if you have this launcher open you can actually click this little folder right here so that is the easiest way to do it now you can also go into here this windows button and type percent app data percent and then click pick some of it I'm, I'm just saying click this folder right here a lot easier it'll bring this up go into mods open mods folder it should be in there because you already installed pixelmon and you can just go ahead and drag optifine right in there and that is it that is all you need to do to install it so i'm going to go ahead run minecraft just click run and make sure when you do that that you don't have minecraft running because i went ahead and closed it but i didn't mention that um it can't be running or it won't actually work so make sure that you have minecraft off the launcher can be running but minecraft itself this window cannot be running um, so yeah, I'm, it should be loading up pretty quickly here. Let me move this over. Um, yeah, the launcher doesn't really, it takes a little couple seconds just to load up every single time. There's yeah, just cause there's so many mods and so many different aspects of Pixelmon it has to load and not responding. Okay. That's fine. If you just leave it for a second, it should fix. I'm going to go ahead and just show this because I normally would skip something like this, but a lot of people were having issues with it in the last tutorial, a lot of freezing during this part, which as I said, most likely due to your Ram on your computer, not being like a high enough amount. Um, but there you go. You can see right here, Optifine, Optifine HD installed options, video setting. We got all the options and everything. You can turn things up and down um performance you probably want to turn off you can just scroll over it and mouse over and it'll tell you which is better for fps and which was not good for fps like which lowers it and raises it and so just go and mess around with the settings and you can probably find a way to make your game run pretty smoothly no matter what computer you're on if you can get the actual thing to open up all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and in this video here make sure you guys leave a like if you did enjoy and find this guide useful um yeah so also make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more content um i play a lot of pixelmon on my server i am setting it up right now it should be open on the 26th so if you want to join 
um make sure you do that it is pokecentral.org if you want to get on and play along with me and i will be doing a series on there so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to be a part of that thanks for watching and i will see you tomorrow